Hey guys, it's Evos here and welcome to the next Nottingham Forest career mode video. I'm super excited for today's episode because we're actually going to approach the January transfer window, which is a big thing for us because we can actually improve the team. Sadly, we don't have a lot of money right now, but in my opinion, we can definitely get some nice players because we're going to get some offers. I'm 100% sure because our players performed sensational so far this season. And speaking of great performance, this is how the, uh, the Premier League table is looking right now. We're currently in 10th place with 23 points after 18 games but in my opinion we're really really close to top six right now the sixth place is only six points away from us which is sensational and also the fourth place is actually seven points away from us so we can definitely try to actually pick up the pace and just probably like catch them like who knows who knows and for sure our new training that's actually gonna join us in two games we're gonna help us massively Mukoku super excited for him he has so much potential so let's see let's see how the things are actually gonna be working for us and the game actually against Aston Villa, guys. I'm just gonna quick sim it. In my opinion, we can definitely win the game. I know it's Aston Villa. They are probably better than us. But look at their goalkeeper. They're using right now Olsen. And, oh, what? We won 3-2. Let's go. Let's go. Digne scored for them. And Ramsey and for us, Lingardino, Johnson and Caicedo. Let's go. We are winning against Aston Villa. This was not expect. I mean, yes, I expected for us to win because with at our stadium, Aston Villa are in a worse form than us. But, hey, you never know. It's FIFA. Always with simulation is dangerous, guys. And for the game against Everton, they're right now on the last place in the table, guys. We do have double more points than them, which is crazy to actually think about. So here we're just going to watch the game, I think, because I'm not 100% sure that here simulating on an away game is a good thing. So I know that our squad is a little bit tired, but let's just watch it and let's see how the things actually develop. I really want to like push into the January transfer window, guys, so we can actually start upgrading the team and receiving some offers because this is super interesting interesting to me right now so far nothing happened in this game this is super weird like how we are not creating anything maybe now Ooh, what a mistake come on boys let's just do something in this game this is so boring look one shot for everton one shot for us nothing happened in the whole game so far this is crazy Ooh, come on what a nice interception from Caicedo, our main man come on now come on now come on come on ah Oh, we scored! Jesse Lingard, Lingardinho strikes one more time. Come on. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Good thing here. Come on. Gibbs White makes it 2 0 for us. That means we're actually gonna win against Everton. Two games, two wins so far. Maybe we're right now in the top eight. I'm gonna check after this game is actually ending to see in which place we are. So after the two wins that we managed to get, this is how the standing is looking. We're currently only two points behind the sixth place. And we actually, if we actually win the game, we're going to be in the sixth place, which is crazy, guys, to think with this squad, how far we actually went. So pretty happy with it. Top four is also like still a possibility. Look, they have all of them played 21 games. We haven't played that. So if we manage to win, we're only going to be two points behind top five or three points, sorry, before uh, behind top four. This is crazy easy to even like think about so let's check it out now if the position change of our center mid Louis Bowman will change anything in his rating he was a center mid and I'm gonna make him a cam so let's see and he went actually to 74 rate this is crazy guys honestly this is crazy and in one week he's actually gonna be 75 rated and he's only 6 no 17 years old this is ridiculous and of course, some bad news hits us so far. It's not that Dean Henderson is leaving the club that Manchester uh, United recalled him, but Ren recalled this Luik Bade, so he's already in their club. So that means his loan spell at us is over. So let's hope this will not affect us big time. And the next game is going to be against Leicester. And this game I'm going to actually play because I'm going to test our new striker, Mukoko. He's going to start the game for us. Also, Bowman is now going to be the cam instead of Lingard. Let's see. Let's see how the boys actually play, guys. I'm super excited to actually use them. So let's hope we can actually win against Leicester and continue, of course, our winning streak. Oh, come on, Bowman. Come on, Bowman. Ooh, to Johnson. Is he on side? He is. Let's try and cross it to Mukoko. This was meant for Mukoko, but... What? How? How? How Vegas scored that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm in shock right now. I really don't know how he managed to score that, but 
Oh wow, maybe we're actually gonna play Champions League next season, guys. Imagine, imagine if we actually managed to reach Champions League with this team. Like, this is ridiculous. Here, I did not expect him to score that. I don't know how he managed to do that, but fair play. We are taking early the lead against Leicester. Let's go. Oh, this is dangerous now. This is dangerous. 1-1. One, one. What a game. Oh wow, he's even rushing to actually get the ball. Fair play, very interesting. Oh, Livramento here got beaten. No, no. Nice, Dean Henderson. Oh, wow. What a save from him. I think the previous time we played Leicester, it was also a really difficult game for us. Oh, Brandon Johnson here. Can he somehow deliver to Mukoku? This is the question. I really want to give Mukoku the chance to score. Oh, what a goal. What a goal from Tielemans to make it 2-1 for Leicester. Well, the dreams are starting to actually slowly but surely disappearing. After we took an early hit, now Leicester managed to come back. It was a good goal, like I didn't manage to do anything here. Niakate got beaten, Antonio Silva was nowhere to be found. And then here there was a huge, huge gap. And of course, Tielemans is actually going to take advantage of it. So 2-1 for Leicester. Now I really hope that we can actually bounce back. Oh, Brandon Johnson now to Mukoku. Come on, Mukoku. To Livramento. Good. Let's do a finesse one here. Oh, Mukoku. What can he do? This is the biggest question. Luis Bowman. One more to Mukoku. Come on, Mukoku. Can you not win some penalties or something? I don't know. Do some magical stuff. One more. No. Why to him? Ah, this was a great opportunity and we messed it up. Nice, Kaisedo is sensational, guys. To Mukoku. No, what a bad pass. Oh, Harry Kane went to Manchester United. Very interesting. Oh, 3-1 for Leicester. Game over, basically, in my opinion here. Ihianacho makes it 3-1 for them. Wow, we got honestly destroyed against Leicester. And speaking of offers, there is the first one for Louis Bowman. No, 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 no way that I'm actually gonna sell him for 16 million. I'm gonna reject that. Even for a 50 million, I'm not 100% sure that I'm actually gonna sell him. Like, this is potential new Jude Bellingham, guys. So next game is going to be against Swansea City in the FA Cup and here I put basically our B team so let's just quick sim it and if we would lose it's going to be good for us because we are just going to play in this competition. Of course we won when we don't need to win we won but hey what can you do. The good offers are just coming and coming to our way. Frankfurt are wanting to actually pay 35.6 million for Brennan Johnson. Jesus Christ. Oof, this is a lot of money for Brennan Johnson, guys. I'm just gonna reject it, but this is a huge, huge amount of money for Brennan Johnson. And the next game is gonna be against the 13th Newcastle. So, so far, we haven't received any offers that we can actually accept or just negotiate, basically. We so far got only two offers. One was for Louis Bowman, the other was for Brennan Johnson, which are two players that I consider right now at least untouchable for us. So I really hope to actually manage to sell like players that we don't uh, like use that much. It's going to be good, but let's see. Let's see how is it going to be, guys. Oh, now it's good. Now it's definitely good. <sighs> Taivo Avunui delivering. I really hope that a good offer for Vega comes or for someone else that we don't use so we can actually start like upgrading the team. Oh, nice. Come on now. 2-0. Taivo Avunui, guys. I'm just going to jump to the result. I don't think that Newcastle can actually come back. 3-0 for us at the end. Let's go. I'm honestly impressed with this Nottingham Forest team, guys. I don't know how we're actually on the seventh place right now. Actually, we are above Liverpool and this is our actually next opponent. So this is even crazy to think about. Like we're only 16 points behind the first place Chelsea. Like how? Honestly, I don't understand it. We're only four points behind the fourth Arsenal. So if we can somehow manage to push to probably like 
fifth spot, then this is gonna be, in my opinion, sensational, sensational season for Nottingham Forest. Of course, even now, if we've ended the season as a seventh place, it's gonna be a sensational season, but I really want to actually bring European competition next season because this will bring us actually more money and we can actually invest more money in new players and this will help us massively to actually accomplish what we aimed for and this is, of course, being the best team in the world, winning everything, so let's see, let's see. Let's now play the game against Liverpool and then we're gonna figure it out can we actually make some moves before actually the January transfer window ends? Ooh, actually there is a snow at Anfield. Very interesting. Come on, boys, here we need a nice result. Like a draw is gonna be good. Ooh, now I remember how we actually lost the previous game. It was in the 90th minute where Luis Diaz actually scored a winning goal for them. This was so sad, to be honest with you, but... Let's see, now we are without Niakate because he was so tired that I couldn't actually like play him. He was honestly super tired. Ooh, now we do have a good opportunity, guys. This is a counter-attack and we are really good at counter-attacks from the corner. Sadly, we missed the chance, I think. Yeah, against Virgil van Dijk, no way. No way that we can actually get past him. Vega now, good. Ooh, ooh, Brennan Johnson here is completely open. Let's pass, come on, Vega. Let's go. Oh no, this Lingardinho. This is Lingardinho. He's shining. He's shining, guys. Lingard, always there when we knew you, when you need him. His contract is gonna expire very soon. So I really need to actually try to negotiate one more or two more deals with him. But Lingardinho strikes one more time. Come on. Against Liverpool at Anfield. What a player. What a player. Future Bowen Door winner for sure. It's so sad that they basically we cannot use our best defender, so I really hope that here Bully actually makes the game of his life. Oh, Dean Henderson, honestly, please Manchester United, just don't buy him. Just don't buy him. If we somehow manage to like um, get a European competition next season, then probably I'm just gonna try to get him from Manchester United because he is honestly sensational for us. Ooh, look at the speed of our new here. No way that Thiago can catch him. No way in hell that Thiago can catch him. No, no, what a miss. Why you shot with your left foot and not just turned your body to shoot with your right foot, man? Ah, why you decided to do that, bro? I put Mukoku, guys, because I think we need some fresh legs and Mukoku has definitely has the fresh legs. Oh, come on now. Oh, he destroyed Virgil van Dijk. Wow, what a debut. What a debut. I know this is not his debut in the Premier League, but doesn't matter. What a goal at Anfield. He destroys Virgil van Dijk, basically, like he ended his career, guys. I really want to see how he destroyed Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> Let's go. Is it going to be shown? Look at here. Van Dijk didn't know what to do. And then Alisson was also tricked. What a finish, honestly, from a 17-year-old Mukoko. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. I did not expect that, guys. This is his first touch for the game after he was subbed off. Wow. Now 2-0 against Liverpool in Anfield. We should definitely not lose the game now, like 100%. I don't know how we should defend, but we just need not to lose the game, guys. Come on. Come on, Renan Lodi. Ooh, dangerous. Ooh, ooh, Bully here got passed by. Ooh, we got lucky. We got lucky here. Come on, Caicedo. Come on, Caicedo. Be the best CDM. Caicedo. What a tackle, guys. Honestly, what a tackle. Virgil van Dijk this time got revenge against Mukoko. And now it's dangerous. Now it's dangerous. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dean Henderson. I don't know how, but we need to keep you in the industry squad, man. You did so many fantastic saves the whole season. Like, every single time when I play the game, he's saving us every single time i know we lost some big games but it's expect like he cannot save everything mukoku now mukoku now pass it come on mukoku let's see what the boy can do i'm gonna pass probably to brennan johnson no what a bad pass this this will actually put the game to the bed but sadly we missed and now diogo jota Oh, Antonio Silva, what a nice tackle. He's also developing sensational, by the way. We're actually gonna beat Liverpool, guys. This is at Anfield, like, this is honestly crazy. 
I don't know what type of team we managed to build, but this is honestly sensational what we are achieving here. 88 minute. Okay, they scored one, but I don't think that they actually can come back. But let's not speak too soon, but I really don't think that they can come back. Even I'm gonna go now to the corner flag. <laughs> I made a mistake here, a huge mistake from Bully. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, please, please, EA, just don't let them uh, have another win against us on the 90th minute. Or not win? No! No, 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 no! Clear, clear, clear! Nice! We survived, we survived. <laughs> Honestly, at the end, I thought I'm gonna mess it up big time and we are not gonna actually win it, but we did. Let's go. This is honestly so sad guys, if 21st of January right now and we haven't received a single offer for any of our players, like what's happening? So here for the game against Brighton in the FA Cup, again, I put our B team. So let's quick sim it and let's hope we can actually got eliminated from the club. No, means that that we now gonna play again? Oh no, come on, man. So before we actually the January transfer win window close, I'm gonna try to actually somehow sign Anthony Elanga. I tried on loan, it's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna do here a straight swap deal. I highly doubt that Manchester United actually are gonna agree on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna try here Emmanuel Dennis for Anthony Elanga. Let's see what Manchester United actually they want to say. They want 16 million and they don't want actually Emmanuel Dennis from us. So basically no way that we can actually sign Anthony Elanga now. And the next game is gonna be actually against Aston Villa. And this is actually the last game before the January transfer window uh, closes. So let's just play it and then probably we're just gonna try to actually end this episode with the January transfer window. I'm not 100% sure how is it gonna be, so. Oh, this looks not bad. Come on now. Pass more, 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 more. Alexis Vega, Alexis Vega just delivers, guys. Should I jump to the result? Oh, come on, one more. More, more, more. 2-0, Froiler. I'm just gonna jump to the result, in my opinion. Really? Really? 2-2. Two, two. Ah, this was such a bad mistake that I jumped to the result, but hey, maybe they would actually have scored two goals. Who knows, who knows? Finally, we received an offer, guys, for Scott McKenna. And this is a one guy that I'm definitely not gonna use for the future. So if we here somehow manage to get like 7 million, this is gonna be nice because we can actually try to negotiate some contracts with one of the players that's actually gonna expire. So let's try here 7 million and let's see what actually they're gonna say. Come on, man, just accept it. No. Okay. Mm, let's try 6.4 then, I guess. Final chance, 6 million. Oh, they agree on it. Let's go. And I really hope that he can actually agree a contract with them. Very interesting. Here we received for our new Luka Modric, basically, a loan offer from Fulham. But I don't want to actually give it to Fulham for free, basically. I mean, yes, I'm going to just here offer one year. Not a short loan, one year. They want for a short one. Yeah, let's Okay, let's give them a short one. 60 40 let's do 50 54 50 yeah okay it's a deal for them they agree on it so the new cam slash center mid that we do have is gonna join them i'm not 100 sure how he's actually gonna develop there but let's see and we received another offer for Louis Bowman, this time from Bruges. I'm gonna reject it. No way, man. Like, how you expect to pay just 15.6 million and just, just to get this 17-year wonder kid? Like, no way. And there is a confirmation. Scott McKenna has actually left us to Braga for 6 million. Pretty happy with it. So this is gonna be the end of today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if so, then please leave a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. We are finishing the episode in a sixth place with only 14 games remaining. And in my opinion, we're gonna just go through this first season in the next two episodes. So in the next two episodes, accept some big things like regarding end of the Premier League. And then we're gonna find out also how we do in the FA Cup. And then it's gonna be starting from the beginning, guys, the second season where we're actually gonna have a lot, a lot of more money and actually our players are going to be much much more developed than now so exciting uh, times are actually coming for us i really hope you enjoy it and yeah i wish you a great day and bye bye